bar mitzvah literally is an Aramaic word, bar, which means son of, and mitzvah, which is commandment. So a bar mitzvah is someone who has attained the status, a boy who has attained the status of becoming a man in Judaism. And that is that now they are a son of the commandments. Now they are obligated to the commandments, they are responsible to them, they are accountable for what they do. That is the age of 13 in Judaism, and essentially what the community is saying to families and to young people is there's a marker. And once you cross that threshold, you enter adulthood. We as the community expect you to be a contributing member of this community, and you as an adult member of this community can expect certain benefits and certain rights to be extended to you as well. You now have the right to be called up to the Torah. You have the right to participate as an adult in social and commandment events of the community. At the same time, Below that threshold, before you are a bar mitzvah, you're sort of a bar mitzvah in training. The community wants you to practice these things, get a hang of them, know what they're doing, know what they mean to you, know what they mean in the book, so that when you cross that threshold and now it is real, you will be held accountable. You've already done a lot of that practice exercise about making it meaningful, because we don't want people to do things just because they have to. We want people to engage in a meaningful way. And so for 13 years, it's years of exploration and learning. And then you cross the threshold into bar mitzvah, which is usually celebrated by a boy being called up to read from the Torah for the first time as an adult, and then a great festivity afterwards as the community welcomes one more adult member in. Now what happens is it continues to be a journey of exploration, but it's not practicing. It's real. It's, it's depth. It's meaning. It's enrichment. It's participation. It's contribution. And it's accountability.